off the coast of Belize, and we've come here to collect some cores uh, through the uh, entire profile of the island down to uh, the Pleistocene limestone. Beneath me is 11 meters of peat. That's the equivalent of a three-story building. What we're doing is we are uh, collecting cores in segments that we're bringing up and uh, collecting and preserving. And later we're going to be looking at the botanical fossils that are contained in those cores. We'll also be radiocarbon dating some of these cores to tell us how old each segment uh, of the core is. Previous cores suggest that this island is it has always been a mangrove uh, system and it has built vertically over a period of about 8,000 years to uh, as sea level has risen over that time period. It has, uh, it has built vertically uh, many, many meters and uh, has accumulated this peat very gradually and this allows the island to keep up with changes in sea level. Okay, so this is uh, one of our peat cores. It's a half meter section. This is from 4.5 to 5 meters in depth, and this is probably um, between uh, 4,500 and 5,000 uh, years old. And what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, collecting this and taking it back to the lab uh, where we will log in uh, all the characteristics uh, of it, uh, anything, uh, any strata that sections that we see in, uh, in this, any changes in the consistency uh, of the core. And then we'll be uh, taking subsamples to identify any botanical fragments that we find uh, in this core. And we'll also be taking samples for uh, looking at the chemistry of the core as well as some other features that uh, will tell us something about the past environment uh, that this peat was formed under. So now we're going to uh, package up this uh, core and uh, take uh, the next section. here, uh, still in mangrove peat, uh, pretty solid, uh, I can see a lot of uh, root material and uh, some leaf material. Just hold it. Okay. Uh, wow. What is it? It's uh, is that a play? It looks play like. That's new. Yes. Yesterday. 
uh, by identifying fragments within the peat, this will tell us something about the plants and plant communities that existed in the past in this mangrove ecosystem. We take photographs and, of, of these fragments, and we compare them to modern material, uh, and this allows us to identify uh, the species of plants that uh, were present in the past. With dating of the peat, we can use those dates to reconstruct the, the sea level history of this region, along with cores taken in, in other locations around the Caribbean. By radiocarbon dating peat at different depths, we can determine how many years ago that peat was formed. This core covered a time span of almost 8,000 years, based on the oldest date measured at the bottom of the core. This time period is referred to as the Holocene. Beneath the Holocene peat is limestone that was formed during the Pleistocene, an earlier time period. By comparing the peat dates with a sea level curve for the region, we can see if this mangrove island has kept pace. The four peat dates measured in this core all fall on the sea level curve, which shows that these mangroves have kept up with sea level rise for the past 8,000 years. These mangrove islands accomplish this feat by slowly accumulating roots in layers at the soil's surface. Over time, the roots die and contribute to peat formation. Because oxygen is lacking in the saturated soil, the roots are preserved, creating a strong matrix that is not easily eroded. These fossil roots were dated and found to be over 7,500 years old. What this work tells us is that intact and healthy mangroves are essential to vertical building of these islands as sea level increases. The information from this project will also help us understand how mangroves may respond to future sea level rise.